Okay, so it is time for reading. Monday, we looked at all of the pictures in the story about Jack and Lily's favorite food. And the pictures gave us so much information, right? Yeah. But they didn't give us quite enough information, did they? No. Nope. Right? Some of the pictures were really hard to recognize, right? Yeah. So yesterday, we started looking at the words, and the words gave us a lot more information, didn't they? Oh, yes. Yes. So we understand how important it is to be able to read the words, because they really give us the whole full story. Yeah. Right? So today and tomorrow, we're really, really, really going to focus on how letters make words and on how words make sentences, because if we can read words... And if we can read sentences, we can learn anything, right? Yeah. Anything's possible if we can read. And reading is also a great escape, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's something you can climb into bed and read a great story or listen to a great story, and it just can take you away to a really happy, fun place. So reading's pretty magical. Oh, yes. And that's why we've got to work at it, right? Mm hmm So, Charlie... Would you work on cutting out these words to make up the sentences? And guys, at home, in your take-home um, folders and in the envelope of material that I recently sent you, you have papers with all of the words that make up all of the sentences in this book. Charlie and I are going to work on the first page together, and then if you have a brother or a sister, or maybe if your mom or dad has a little bit of time and could sit with you and read a sentence to you, and you guys have to really listen to the sentence and use what you know about letters and sounds to figure out which word they're reading, and then put the words into a sentence, almost like a puzzle. All right, so I'm not going to show Charlie the words. I already put the capital and the period there. Oh, Charlie used a great trick. He knew that the period was going to go here. Why? Because the period is always at the end of the sentence. Exactly. And you said you put the first word there. How'd you know that was the first word, Charlie? Because it is a capital and... I knew there was only one sentence, so I knew these wouldn't start it because in the middle of the sentence, there wouldn't be a capital N. Oh, very good. Okay. I mean, Jack and Lily do have capitals, but since that has a capital too, it has to be the... Very good. Okay, so guys, I'm going to read this first sentence aloud to Charlie, and let's see if he can listen really carefully and figure out which letters make up which words to make up a sentence. All right, Charlie, are you ready? Yes. You've already found the word in. Now next is some. Some. How did you know? You're right. How did you know that was the word some? Because I had an S in the beginning and I heard the M in the end. Oh, that was great. Awesome. In some ways, ways, excellent. Now, how did you know that was the word ways? Because it started with a W then had an A. Good, you heard the W, A. Awesome. In some ways, J Jack. Good. Now, what were you thinking that helped you figure out that 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 written word spells Jack? Well, I knew that Jack started with a J, and I knew that since it was a name, it would have a capital. Awesome. Those were great clues. And can you hear the J A A the A? And the k, the CK, yeah. and that awesome, great job. So so far, Charlie has, in some ways, Jack. And now this is a sight word that a lot of you guys already know. 
We see that word all the time, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Good. In some ways, Jack and Lily, Lily, good. How'd you know that was Lily? Like the Jack, except I knew there was an L. I also heard the I, and good. I knew it'd start with a capital. Awesome. Perfect. In some ways, Jack and Lily are... And Charlie, what do you know about that word R? It makes me think of bossy, bossy R. R. It took over the first and the last. Yes, that bossy R took over the first and last letters. All we hear is the R, huh? Yeah. Good. Now, Charlie, can you read that whole sentence back to us? In some ways, Jack and Aunt Lily are different. Perfect. So guys at home, if you could keep working on those letters that make up the words and the words that make up the sentences, that would be great. And we're going to continue to do this again tomorrow. So if you could get through page four and page five, that would be so awesome. And then tomorrow we will work on page six. Thanks guys.